Hello everyone. This video would focus on like and unlike radicals. Please feel free to check out the description box below for the link of the other series of topics related to radical expressions. Before we dive into some examples, let's have the definition of like and unlike radicals. We remember that if we say like radicals, these are radicals that have the same indices and the same radicand. Well, on the other hand, if we say unlike radicals, these are radicals that differ in either the radicand or the index. So let's take this general radical expressions. So these two radical expressions that we have here are like radicals. So the only two parts of the radicals that we look at to determine if it's like or unlike radicals are again the two indices or the indices and the radicands. So in this case right here, both indices are the same and both radicands are the same. It doesn't matter if the coefficients are not the same as long as the indices and the radicands are the same then we go ahead and say that the, the radicals are like radicals now let's have the first example so we are given four times cube root of five and negative seven times cube root of five again the only parts that we need to check are the indices and the radicand. So in this case right here, both indices are three, so we're good. And both radicands are five, so we're good. We can go ahead and say that these two expressions are like radicals. Now let's take the next example. So looking at this example, we have a three and we have an invisible two um, as the indices. So we can say that the two indices 3 and 2 are not the same so that we can go ahead and say that this is unlike radicals. We also have 5 and 7 as radicands and they're not the same so it further um, verifies that these two are unlike radicals. Now let's move on to the next one. So we have a square root of 7 and 2 times the cube root of 7. If you notice, their indices are not the same. So the other index is invisible 2, while the other index is 3. And although we have the same radicand of 7, it has to be both the indices and the radicands should match up. Since the uh, radicands match up, but the two indices do not, then we go ahead and say that this is an unlike radical. Now let's move on to the next example. So in this next example, both indices are 5, so they're the same, we're good, and both radicands are 10, so then we can go ahead and say that these two are like radicals. Now let's move on to the next example. We have a 5 and negative 7 cube root of 5. If you notice, the other number 5 is a whole number, while the other one is a radical expression. So then we can go ahead and say that these two are unlike radicals. Now let's move on to the next example. Now both of them are 7, but the other one is the whole number, while the other one has a square root on it. So then we can go ahead and say that these two are unlike radicals. So that is how we determine whether the two radical expressions are like radicals or unlike radicals. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!